What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to a new thing on my channel that I'm going to call, I think, a few truths in a dare. Based on the game that I'm sure most, if not all of you have played at some point in your life, Truth or Dare. And the way Truth or Dare usually works is you go around and it's, you know, you ask someone Truth or Dare and Truth, you try to get the deep, dark, dirty secrets out of them and Dare, you get to dare them to do something r ridiculous. But we're, I'm going to try to keep it FIFA related for now, at least for the Dare part. I asked you guys on Facebook, I said, guys... Dare me to do something FIFA related and there were hundreds of you that responded so thank you all very much for that. There will hopefully be an opportunity to do that again in the future if you guys do indeed like this sort of thing. So the dare that we went with and there were tons of them along this line so I picked one of them out that had a couple thumbs up and said we're going to go with this one. Chris and Trisha Ross, I dare you to use a team that has a max pace of 60 and Ben Sai below it said a team where all the players have less than 60 pace. Pretty, you know, essentially the same thing. I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's use, you know, I haven't used tons of the players in Ultimate Team that aren't very pacey, and I thought, you know, there's no real restrictions on League, so I can come up with a fun squad to use. Maybe the best below 60 squad. Now, that's not obviously going to be the case, because I'm sure there are going to be players that I've left out that are really good below 60 pace, but I went with a pretty slow team. And uh, you're going to get to meet that team coming up here. And as the episode progresses, you know, I, I thought it said to use a team. Does that mean win a tournament? You know, what, can I lose? And so what are, you're going to see how that works out. I played a game with this. I built this team, and I played a game. Win, lose, draw, you're going to see it all. So uh, we'll have the highlights and all that. And as it goes along, I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the questions that I asked for from you guys on Facebook as well that are going to be going through a few truths or, you know, just a little bit of question and answer, I suppose, which is essentially what the truth part of Truth or Dare goes. But I'll answer honestly, as I always do, and you guys can feel free to ask me whatever. And if you do like this episode, make sure to let me know in the comments uh, and in the ratings because it does help me get a feel for kind of what you guys are thinking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet the squad. Alright guys, so here it is. We went with a Siri uh, squad. Morgan DeSanctis in that 34 speed. That is pretty darn slow, even for a keeper standard. Now Siri, uh, let me get everything to 100 chemistry, but every, there are a lot of really slow players like Natali, 45 pace, but he's got 81 defending and 82 heading, so that's really not too shabby. You know, everybody looks at FIFA as such a pace game. Maybe this will prove everybody wrong. Gianpaolo Bellini. 59 pace so he almost came in at that 60 mark but he managed to stay under it mario yepes a whopping 40 pace yet again so we've got a pretty you know the makings of a pretty slow team but yepes is a med is a legend in his own mind and in my mind as well one of those players that i don't know just reminds me of fifa uh sardo at right back very slow as well 51 we've got lodi in the midfield 55 and the Serie A is you know, essentially the league that I went with because there's still a lot of technically sound players that just aren't very fast. Akilani definitely fits that bill. He's got good passing, good dribbling, good shooting. Of course, we, of course we've got Francesco Totti that you'll see coming up here. But this man, Aaron Zahavi from Israel, 59 pace, 81 dribbling, four star skills, four star weak foot. I paid 6,500 coins for him, but I wanted him in the side because he had the four star skills and I thought that'd be fun to play around. Francesco Totti, the legend that he is, 85 shot, 89 passing, 85 dribbling. I was thinking that he might have to play a pretty big role in the match if I was to go out and win it. We also have Enzo Maresca on the uh, right side. He is indeed right foot, but he's got four-star weak foot and 51 pace. So crazy pace from the man from Sampdoria. And striker, we've got the Brit slash Italian, the Italian legend that is Amari. Not really a legend, but uh, some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not know. He was originally Brazilian, and he was a Brazilian on uh, one of the past Ultimate teams as well. And an extremely, extremely strong player, so... We're going to go ahead now head on into the final of the Gold Cup. And I thought, please, 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 no matter what happens, let me let me get an opponent that just doesn't have an over pacey team. Let me get an opponent that, you know, has a formation that's going to allow me to you know, maybe control the game a little bit. So when He Mad FC came up with a 5-2-2-1 Brazilian side with silver boost cards, on both Pato and Neymar, my heart sank a little. I thought this was not the match that I wanted to see at all. However, I chose to go with a 4-2-3-1 formation just for the sake that 
I'm going to have five midfielders and I can, there's a very strong chance that I'll be able to dominate possession. I still have players that can pass. I have players that can sort of dribble and I have players that can shoot. So I just need to slowly work it up just like this. Amari kind of doing a little bit of dancing with it. He's going to find Akilani, Akilani to Francesco Totti and an errant pass. And this is what I was worried about. Right from the get-go, he decides to go straight over the top, and Yepes is beaten for pace drastically right there. Luckily, it's raining, it skipped a little bit, and my keeper managed to knock it away. Now we're a little bit farther ahead, 12th minute. And I'm going to go ahead and answer the first question. Comes in from Boutran. Why did you name yourself Air Japes? And that's you know, a question I've gotten asked tons of times, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it for the sake of uh, making sure all of you guys know now. So Japes comes from my name, JP. JP is a nickname for my actual name, which is John Paul. So Japes is a nickname I picked up playing college soccer or college football here in the U.S., and uh, so I went ahead and typed Japes into Xbox Live and I thought, you know, this is, a, you know, I'm down with this nickname. I'll go ahead and pick that. And it said it was already taken. I couldn't believe it. So it suggested that I put air in front of that. And I was like, you know what? That sounds pretty cool. I'm down to do that. Thus, Air Japes was born. But back to the action. 17th minute. And this is what I was worried about. He gets a little bit of free space. Neymar glides past my defenders without a worry in the world. And he's got a goal in the 18th minute. We are down and the slow or below 60 pace Italian side is really starting to show its weakness. So I'll go ahead and answer another question. This question from Christopher uh, Kervigard. Why do you upload so unfrequent nowadays? Or why do you upload so infrequently? And I've got to, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. The reason for that is because I... I essentially got bored of Ultimate Team, and that's why you see more career mode stuff out now. But the reason I got bored of Ultimate Team, and I'm going to tell you why I don't necessarily like Ultimate Team this year, and that's why I'm doing you know a series like this too to spice it up because this was fun uh, for a change. There wasn't so much pressure when you know lose or whatever. Akilani, how did you miss that? Come on, FIFA. But an Ultimate Team, generally speaking, I feel like you have to play a certain way with a certain formation, or not necessarily a certain, with maybe a few formations, but with a certain type of player if you want to win this year and have a good time. Because we, let's face it, we all like winning. Nobody likes getting beaten just for using a team of players that they want to use. Some of you guys are going to say, Japes, that's because they took single matches out. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. But I just think it has to do with how fast and quick-paced Ultimate Team is this year and how strong certain formations are that you really have to use kind of the similar stuff over and over and over again. And I just kind of got stale for me. So that's going to answer that question, why I've uploaded infrequently. But now, you know, career mode I found to be really, really fun again. And if you haven't tried it out, go ahead and try that out. Um, and then doing little challenges like this and challenging myself, you know, a series like Pick a Number, Deck Decider. Those, that is when Ultimate Team is fun for me. But, you know, some of those sort of the path to power, the day in, day out of Ultimate Team for me has gotten a little bit stale. 45th minute though, and we managed to retain the ball in our own box. Moving things forward, Akilani out to Zahavi. Zahavi inside of Amari. Look at the pace from Zahavi. He's away, but he's not. And David Luiz has picked it out, or has he? Francesco Totti takes it off of him, goes for that near post, hits top net, the best net, and we are level going into halftime. Thank you for 45th minute goals. I will take that 10 times out of 10. Final question. And this question comes from Marco Henriquez Gomez. Do you think the red card against Nani was the right decision? The answer to that, absolutely not. More on that after the break. So the stats, as you can see, I had to control possession here. 63% is where we were. Pretty even on chances. He did get a few breaks past my defense, and he did take a few shots. And that's what I've got to worry about is more stuff like that. But the decision against Nani, I thought it was unjust. I thought it was far too harsh. Yellow card, yes. I think it should have been a yellow. And that's, you know, you don't want to... That's a risky move, putting your studs that high up in the air when you don't know where the players are around you. And he probably thought that Arbelo wasn't near him. Now, I didn't really like the way some of the players react and tried to get him a red card. But, you know, in the referee's mind, he did it intentionally and he was out to kick him. So then, you know, if, if the referee saw it as an intentional kick, then it definitely should be a red card. But I don't think it was intentional and it should have been a yellow at the most. And it's really unfortunate because that changed the whole flow of the game. And as you guys know, Real Madrid came back and won. As we are in the process of doing right now, Francesco Totti. Lovely work on the wing from Mascara. But Totti has put it away in the 58th minute. 
And that is two goals for him already. Lovely little bit of work guiding it past the keeper. And this guy thought, ho ho, rage quit. It is all said and done. We have already won this. We have used the 60 pace or less team and we have won, but mm, he just paused it and I don't know, had to rethink his take on likes. So he decided that Neymar and skill moves, that would be the way to beat my overly pacey defense. However, he tried to do a rainbow flick, but didn't time it properly. So we took it away and we were on the counter, but nothing came of that. So then he tried to play it over the top with David Luiz again, and it went a little bit far. Thank goodness for the rain when you're using slow teams. Now we got a corner kick and Amari totally misjudges it and mistimes it. 78th minute though, and he just gives it right back to us. Now we have him pinned deep in his own half. This is when the 4-2-3-1 excels, at least for me. Uh, is there a lot of players moving around? A lot of triangles that are created. If you can manage to keep possession, a Maori lovely bit of skill. And why didn't I go near post? What, what FIFA did I think this was to try to guide that into the far post with a finesse shot? I must have been crazy. 86th minute. We pick it up on the counter. Again, it's Zahavi showing his pace and bursting free. He sees a wide open Amari at the far post. And Amari, I cannot believe he's just put it past the post. How am I supposed to, uh, you know, secure victories with that sort of finishing? But on the ensuing goal kick, we get the opportunity. It's Amari again. Nice little bit of work. And he actually has stealth. Stellar dribbling and stellar ball control, which makes uh, using him quite good. Steps inside and nothing comes of it yet again. However, I knew that in the 90th minute, I just had to hold on to it. But it's Francesco Totti completing the hat trick and going ahead and securing the victory for us. We've done it with our 60 pace team. Our 60 pace or less team. Now 90th minute, we get one more chance. Take it away. It's Bellini on the charge this time. And he's waiting and waiting and waiting for help. Going to play it to Lodi. Lodi's going to look back inside. And there is a wide open man out on that far side. It is Zahavi. Going to step on inside with this one and almost lose it. But that's okay. Little rainbow flick. He's going to out muscle today and tuck it away into that far corner. Giving us a safe and secure 4-1 to victory in the Gold Cup final. I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you support for your support on all of my videos if you guys did enjoy this video a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated if you want to see more stuff like that go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys want to you know dare me to do something in the next episode head over to my facebook page make sure you uh, check that out that's where i'll ask for the next set of dares and the next set of truths so make sure you're on top of that i'll also tweet it out saying that those are up on that thank you guys again for watching my name is japes and i will catch you all next time um...